Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how it works, the favor system and the what you need to do, everything. I will cover everything necessary. Uh, this will be a system that will come on the next week. So make sure to do it if you want to get your workers to help you in your farm. So the favor system is here. It's not translated yet on Korean 7, unfortunately. During the event, they, they appear like this. But in the future, there will be other one systems. So for example, you have to give them some gift food. In the case of oh, this guy is food. And the according to how much you give them, you raise a level. And then you get certain gifts. In the case of these first guys, this, the ones that help you in the farm, on the last one, you get them to, a couple of them to work for you in your familiar forest. The same. So they have one peculiar thing that's very good to note, that they have a favorite dish. So, and they have one that's more common and one gives much more points. So I, I will show you guys in this video what will be the best food for to give them. They accept uh, from this special food, they accept everything. But each NPC, they have uh, the ones that they like most and give you more points. So you can, doing that, you, you can get them faster. So let's check how it works. I just got here on the first NPC. She's in charge of putting the seeds of the corn. So here she is. So you can see that these are a set of foods only to feed these NPCs. So this is the, her favorite food. Let's give, and that's it. But she's already maximum levels. But if we get some coins. So that's how it works. So each time you feed, you get some certain hearts. And that's it. And you raise your level, getting gifts. So that's what you get. This is very useful, actually. Maybe this one will be different on global because it's more advanced. So I think that's one peculiar thing that we have some stuff these events come more advanced, so I think they, they will change the price. So where is the location of the NPCs that you have to feed? So this is the Julia. She's located in Sultan Heartlands. So that's convenient. You go straight to them. So that's Julia. You feed her here. The second NPC. Teacher. I'm not sure if the name will be the same. I forgot the English name of them. So he's located in this map. Eastern Heartlands. So that's here, him. So let's go the next. This one is in charge of the tomato and this one apple. Golden glue. Here, our friend. So if you give them the food that they like, he gave us some of these coins. So if you want to farm a little bit of these coins, of course. Depends on the limit of what you have. So that's how it works. That's him. So even after you can still feed them. If you want to get all these coins, you buy some items in your familiar forest. So the next one is this one, Shin Shin. 
is in the Serene Forest. Here in this location, very in the entrance. entrance. And he likes these grilled vegetables. So first of everything, during the event, we have some special decoration items. And you have a kind of stove, it's kind of similar to this one. That you can buy to cook the food that you can give to the NPCs. So make sure to have a lot of apple, tomato and corn. Make sure to have a lot, you need a lot. So, and to buy these this tokens, these coins. So I show you guys how, how works the stove. So here's the stove I just put in my familiar forest. It's not very expensive. So you, you can use it. So here we can cook the dishes that he is used to, to feed the NPCs. Unfortunately, we don't have the translation yet, but we can have this is tomato, corn. This one is grilled vegetables and this one is apple pie. So the system is very simple and I think uh, you guys will not see it. But uh, you can see which NPC prefers which food. But I think only when you get high level. But you guys can have an idea which one prefers. Julia likes this one, grill it, this one, the apple pie, this guy. So let's do it. So basically you need these ingredients, egg. Later I, I, I show which place we get this because we have a new ingredients. So for example, we get this one, we don't have on global yet. So I later in this video, I show you guys where to get the ingredients. Here we, we needed just what we we farm. So that's why it's very important to have many of this. And here also. So later I'll show how to get to this. So basically it's like this. So you cook. You need this token here. So as much as you, you cook. Max making three because I have only three of these. So the one that is super success, you can fit them better. You get, you get more points. You see super success. This one, they give you much more uh, hearts. So just you guys have an idea. So let's, let's use everything I have. Unfortunately, we don't have the English name. So might, later I might make a video just to show specifically because some people might use uh, keywords to find the items and in this video I just literal translation so that's why it works to cook and then use them to feed the NPCs so for example Julia what she prefers she prefers this one they call juicy corn pancakes she goes on 600 so if she goes zero she don't work anymore so it's always good to keep her number is high and the, this one is 120 if you see this one and this one 144 the super success one and also of course we can give them the token but it's not worth it so let's give even exceed is no problem you'll be maximum yes so you see 600 so as much as it, she works it decreases here and the, the guy that works the most is the guy that put water. So you always make sure to, to feed him. So this one likes the grilled vegetables. And he takes care of the apple trees. So here's the special, special one. You see 212. That's a lot. And here 180. You exceed, but okay. So this is a tomato frittata. They call it this NPC. I don't know how he call him or global. You can feed him with this tomato frittata. So the special one is 144. 
and just normal is 120 and this one you guys even see so this guy function is to put water so he works a lot and he needs this apple pie it's made of apple so these two is the ones that give him more points to him and this guy is the one that works the most and he also has very low so you have to make sure like every two days to check if he is still with enough enough food so that's how it works you can feed with this one but i think uh, you just spend these coins are very important so don't do that so now i will teach you guys where to get the new ingredients so i explain you guys how to get the new ingredients so the toma tomato you guys know it's just in the in the farming the eggs might new players might not know but you can get in the traveler merchant kingdom store sometimes appears but the majority of it you get defeating the monsters you it you will work for other ingredients i show you guys this is important information so if you check the monsters you can see for example, this one drops grain. So, depending on the monsters, for example, species. So, depending on what you need, these ones you can find the monsters are this one egg, milk. And in every map, open world map, you can find different types. But, the new ingredients, they need specific. So, you have like six new ingredients. So here, I have this tutorial I found in the Korean, Korean forum. I will send you guys in the link in this description. So here I have uh, six new ingredients. This one is fluffy meat, moel petal, pure shell, serene wet herb, glacier flakes, and trenia volcanic beans. It's like a coffee. So one place you get it's just by doing the witch dungeon, you can get them by random, you can get even some cooked food also, so that's very nice. The ice and the Trenia Volcanic Beans, you can buy weekly on the episode shop, you can buy them, so make sure to get them. But these other four, you can find in the open world, there's no limit, you can do dailies. So, this is the location of them, we can go in the map. Fluffy meat, pure shell, ser serene herb, and moel petal. So let's check. So just to guys remind you guys. So you see serene herb you need for the first one. The second one, food, the made of corn, is the fluffy uh, meat. This one just needs the traditional farm ingredients and this one apple pie you need the also the cream and this moire petal so let's check the first one where to get sereni herb so sereni herb you get in the sereni forest here in the middle so let's go So you see, Serene Herb is in Korean, but you you find. You just search it, you get it. So there's no mystery, you have to search here in the map, in this area, in the middle, you find it. Another one. So that's it, you can constantly search for it. Maybe with many players, maybe it'll be a little hard to find. But you can just change. Oh, you see up here again. So you just get it. So you can just do this tour. This course here, you can get a lot. Oh my god, I think it's infinite. Oh, there's another one down here. There's another here. So there's a lot of options, guys. 
Uh, from what I remember, I think you have to give it like 40 or 30 dishes around that. I don't remember exactly what I did a long time ago. So this is the Serene Herb. So let's go to the next one. So we just checked the location of Serene Herb. So the next one is the Rufy Meat. You guys know this guy? He's a very peculiar. So he's located in Zephyr Station. So Zephyr Station is here in the first map. Around this area here, we can find them. So where is our friends? Oh, you see? So what we have to do, we just need to kick them. So see if we kick once. We get <laughs> fluffy meat. But see, he's there, still alive. So that's very peculiar way to get meat. And we get only once per fluffy. So let's kick this one. So you see? This one not give anything. So let's kick these other guys. Oh my god, oh, we got... So I think this one is a little more harder to get. Okay, we got... Yeah, no meat. Only once, guys. So that's the location of uh, fluffy meat. So the next one is the cleated vegetables. This one you just need the ones you find in the farm. So you just need a high quantity of it. So that's this is the easiest actually. So the next one is like a flower petal apple pie. I don't know how they translate it, but this is the literal translation. So you need the apple grains. This you op you apple you find the farm grains in the open world. And this is more petal. So where we find it? So actually it's the golden glove. So maybe the name will be golden glove petar, something like this. And it's located in this region here. You guys can see here. The petal. Just found around around this area. You see, we got one. That's nice. It makes you explore the open world. You see, there's another one. Everything's around this area. So it's very straightforward, or even the respawn is very high. So maybe even if you have many players doing the same, you can get as much as possible. From what I remember, you need like 40, 30, around that is fine. But uh, get as much as you can because constantly you have to feed that NPCs. Of course, it's not a lot. But uh, just you guys have uh, some idea. So as an extra, because there will be other foods to cook. And there's another one that you can find in the open world. That's the... That will be the pure shell. That's located in this region here. In the eastern... Heartlands. So let's check it out. This one you don't need to use to feed the NPCs, NPCs but uh, you be for to make some buffs during the witch dungeon because there will be specific food buff that you can use to get give you more death against the witch, for example, or deals more de attack to her. So let's where is the shells? Oh, here are the shells. I don't remember exactly because we cannot cook anymore that one. But you guys can have an idea here. You see? So that's the location of the shells. So I think as as I show you guys in the video, to show a little guys where to get some where you use the others. I, I did in my video. I think this is very important. You can use the 
which is called room, I could say, here in the video. So, the, for example, this one, the first here, it increases the amount of uh, wet, wet kits obtained on the dungeon. If you guys remember, this is the item here, so you increase your chance to get this, that's uh, random food. So you use one food to get uh, more drops of random food. So you have different ones and you, you can only cook during this time. So for example, this one makes you get more gold in the field and in chaos field. So they have very nice food. I think later I plan to, when they launch on global, I plan to do a video explaining because these foods can help a lot. It's literally like a buff, like you, normal field and chaos field, you get better gold drop. This one, the, the ice cube, you see, need milk also. So for example, in this one, this food here, uh, you get more soul stones and specialty item, increased by 150% in 30 minutes. So it's very good event. So if you guys want, you can check the video, but uh, I think I didn't translate what each food do but uh, when the launch on global i can show you guys with more details but just you guys have idea so these are the new foods we get so i think basically that's how it works if you guys have some question you can leave a comment down below and that's it that's a video to prepare you guys for the new system that are coming to the game Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you on the next video.